welcome to the Sega Lounge, where we celebrate our love for all things Sega, including the games, the music, and the community. I'm your host, KC. Join me as I talk to different guests and learn more about their projects and passion for Sega. Yes, hello, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Sega Lounge live. Hello, my name's KC. I'm your host. Hope everyone's doing great. I think this is working, right? I hope they, I hope it is. It's always a mystery. It's always um, something that I, I worry about. I think we you can all hear us. Um, and if you're on Twitch, you can see us as well. So I'm KC and joining me is the wonderful Lime Reversed. Hello. 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 How are you doing? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay. So not great. I see lots good. of people, lots of awesome people in chat as well. Okay. Okay. Nice. Resident SD says, fangirl scream. Ah. Ah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm also joined by the amazing and maybe my boss, Skill Jim, <laughs> the <Everybody>. real host. <laughs> welcome, Eleven. welcome. How's it going? Fantastic. Oh, How's it going with you, Casey. I like that. I'm great as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you guys for joining me. And so this is one of those amazing, amazing roundtable episodes where we're all together. Uh, and I really, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, coming back to to help me out with our live episode. So before we get into the meat of the show, whatever that is, uh, we'll we'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, let me give a big welcome to people watching us on Twitch. Hello, twitch.tv slash the Sega Lounge. If you're listening to the podcast version, to the recorded version of this, and you're not following us on Twitch, you're missing out on some awesome live video and audio episodes. So twitch.tv slash uh, the Sega Lounge. Join us. Follow us there for, for next time. Um, and also, a big shout out to people listening in live on Radio Sega. I hope. I hope. But I think so. I think so. I think things are working. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast version, a big welcome as well to you guys. You know I love you. Thank you very much for supporting the show. We have a, a great one for you guys this week. We're going to talk about some Sega news, talk about some Gamescom stuff that happened, and share our um, our opinions and reactions to that. Uh, so, by the way, because we have people on uh, Twitch chat, uh, let me give you a shout out to Resident SD, to K Dog, to um, to Matt from Shenmue Dojo who just joined us as well. Hello, what's up? Hey, yeah, at the ceiling. Yeah. Anyway. Let's let's get a move on because we have a lot of stuff to cover this week, right, guys? But I wanted to start with a just a, a random thought or question, actually, before we get into the news, into the Sega news. Have you guys been playing anything fun lately, Sega or otherwise? I never asked this question. Hmm. Oh, sure. <laughs> like fun recently. <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I have actually. Yeah, I've been playing nice. Somebody Amigo. Oh, I, I thought it was super fun. <laughs> I thought it was a cooking game. <laughs> it was salt and pepper. Uh, um, have yeah. the shakers. Somebody Amigo. Nice, <laughs> nice. I I wanted to buy the the Maraca add-ons, but I I you know I decided against it. Cause I, I had to buy something else, and I decided to save my money. <laughs> but I'll mm. I'll eventually get them well, as well. Well worth it. Really? I added. Well, it just takes you back to the Dreamcast days a little bit, doesn't it? With the the actual maracas excellent excellent they're okay not too expensive i don't think no no not really not really well, probably, not well. for the for the, the nostalgia vibes i think they're well worth it yeah okay um yeah so somebody miko lime what about you i've for the first time i'm very late with this with for the first time ever i i have um how can i phrase it i took a bite out of uh, some Game Gear games. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. For, for better for, or for uh, worse, for, Lime. For, for the... For... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's It's been an experience. It's definitely been an experience uh, with some, some games. Uh, I've... Um, 
like I've I've both had uh, good and bad surprises. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But yeah, I've uh, I've uh, I've already one hundred percent in the Sonic One, and then um, Sonic Triple Trouble. Sonic Triple Trouble was surprisingly a good looking game. Yeah. Uh, for being on the Game Gear. That's true. Like Certainly. that's uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Do you and, agree uh, with Resident yeah, ST I've... Lime? Sonic 2 Game Gear for the win. Sonic 2 Game Gear for the win. I want to know about You see, SD was there. SD was there during the the stream where I where, where I decided to absolutely refuse to play the Game Gear version of Sonic 2 cuz holy crap. I might get into that like with um uh, with a topic uh l later cuz oh yeah. my gosh. Oh my <laughs> Greatest gosh. Greatest game ever made. <laughs> what lime's trying to say i i uh, from what i understand you you completed sonic 2 <laughs> on the game gear because you played the first level i only and that's got it. That's... I, I i only got to the first boss that's and it then I that's, rage it. that's quit. the final boss that that there's is, nothing that else is the experience yeah that is that is sonic 2 um, game gear. And yeah <laughs> there, there's nothing else you beat the crowds <laughs> yeah, yeah i beat yeah, it okay yeah, there yeah. we go yeah 100 yeah. percent yeah. done Already, well done well done know. good job okay i'm sure we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, <laughs> uh, also, I've been playing Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit as well, which is, I, I, I would recommend it to anyone who is a Jet Set Radio fan. So yeah, definitely, definitely a great game. But yeah, thanks for sharing. So let's get into the news. Let's get into the news. So our first stop, we have a few topics that we uh, decided amongst ourselves to, to cover this week, try to give structure to an unstructured show, perhaps. No, we're, we're pretty organized, I think. I like to think yeah, that. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. So the first topic we have here to cover is why didn't Sonic Mania 2 happen, which was mm. something that was shared uh, recently. And I think I have it here. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can switch over to this one. <laughs> Stuff is happening live, which is amazing. There we go. Smooth transition. Smooth transition. So uh, this is an article on Game Informer uh, covering a, an interview with uh, Izuka, with Takashi Izuka, right? Right, correct? I didn't think so. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think it was, yeah. And so would you guys like to, to talk a little bit about this? Lime, perhaps? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> is it, that was... Uh, if I may, like begin with some uh, history there, at least like from my experience, I, I I can't really like say this was the history about it, but like this was talked about like several years ago, and people were saying that yeah, there isn't gonna be a Sonic Your Mania two, and there were so many different rumors going around about it. Uh, in the context, because I, I remember, at least in my world, it was so many people saying that, huh, yeah, fans can make better Sonic games than, you know, actual Sonic, this is a Sonic team. And uh, that kind of started a rumor going around that that's exactly why it's not going to be a Sonic Mania 2, because, you know, they don't like hearing that. And I, I, I don't remember where I heard it, but it was definitely like I, I remember it so clearly, but I can't find it again. And I remember like, oh, well, I mean, at first, I guess that makes sense. But then, then when I thought about it, like if that was the case, if that's how they were, are, were going to react to it, why would they release the first game in that case? Like, why would they give uh, Christian Whitehead like the opportunity to do a Sonic Mania in the first place? If that's how they're they're going to react, I realized that didn't really really make sense. But now, several years later, we have some actual info, not just loose rumors. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's uh, because like everybody was wondering this, right? I was definitely mm -hmm. expecting a Sonic Mania too. Yeah, I, I, th I thought so it was well, like it? a no brainer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It was such a huge hit. It was so creative. I absolutely loved it. Like, yeah. 
was like the resurgence of a proper 2D series because and actually part of the article Azuka Sans is he was surprised actually how well Sonic Mania did in the first place. I'd, I mean, we all knew a fresh 2D game would do amazing. It was like kind of coming into that sort of retro period of time where a lot of these games were going back to the roots and stuff. So Sonic was like the one that a lot of people um, wanted to happen. And then mm. obviously they seemed a little bit relu- relu- re- reluctant, but obviously they ended up doing it with Christian Whitehead um, after those, probably after the mobile ports went mm-hmm. so well. They put a bit of trust in him. And uh, they created a fantastic game, and I think it shows because of the success of that that they've kind of made 2D Sonic part of the franchise now going forth alongside the modern, the 3D, um, obviously with Sonic Origins and, again, Sonic Superstars now that we're going to be talking about a little bit later, but obviously 2D Sonic is in Sega's plans, um, and I think it's because of the success of Mania that that's probably the reason why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, I just think so. According to to Bizuka san they they started working with Christian Whitehead to to make something not really a Sonic Mania two, but something classic Sonic related. And they mm. had like differences between what they wanted to do and what the team that worked on Sonic Mania wanted to do. Apparently, so was they were not really. Seeing eye to eye, there were like creative differences, which is like a, a jargon. Sort of, Sorry, like cater to to both sets of fans, like the three D and the two D. So they wanted to go like for this two point five D or whatever they were talking. About. Yeah, yeah, more like a like mm. a more like new Super Mario Brothers feel. Mm. I I guess mm. that that's what was my like first reaction when I saw Sonic Superstars. Was reminded me a little bit of like that art style. It's not really. 2D, but not really 3D either. Um, mm-hmm. So, so yeah. It, it seemed, though, like they agreed on a lot of stuff. It seemed like they didn't really want to do, like, in the same art style as Sonic Mania. It seemed that mm-hmm. they uh, agreed with, like, wanting to do, like, something, uh, something else, like not mm-hmm. Pixel Sonic in this case, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, by the way... Shout out to like they were like on their way to superstars already there. Just wanted to Dr. give a shout Scott out to Nick. Dr. Scott Nick. Hello, hello, Scott. Scotty, who has played the moment? superstars? <laughs> who by has the way. played superstars? Indeed. Yeah, wasn't wasn't at Gamescom. Exactly. Yeah, really nice job Dimps, there. What's that mean? Uh, so the 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 Dimps games like Sonic Four, uh, like okay. Sonic Advance. Bottomless pits. People sometimes complain about the bottomless pits in in those games, and so there were some okay. dims level design, <laughs> which was fun. Mm. He says, <laughs> "Yeah, but he's in England, so and I think he's staying for the Sonic Symphony concert." So I'm nice. so jealous. Nice. We'll time. we'll talk a little bit about that May, in, in a few. Maybe meeting up with him tomorrow. <laughs> actually, oh, nice. I'm even more jealous. Even more jealous now, indeed. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah, no no Sonic Mania 2, unfortunately. Uh or fortunately, depending on where you stand in, in regards to Sonic Mania. I think most people mm. loved it. So I would really love to see another pixel style classic Sonic. I think I have a feeling we'll eventually get one of those at some point. Uh, just throwing it out there, KC, because that is like another topic of conversation we've got a, well, I don't know if you want to cover it now, but the mm-hmm. price of Sonic Superstars, do you reckon if it was 2D sprite based, they'd have a harder time pricing it that high, if you know what I mean? But because it's like this fresh, almost 3D esque style. Uh, I I mean, <laughs> you know, we we're getting increase, uh, you know, an increase in gaming price or game prices these days. So I don't know if that's got to do with the style of the game itself but that's a good point that that could be could very very well be i i was hoping for like a, a an under 40 pound euro dollar price here for for this um and i am th- i'm thinking that maybe most fans were also hoping for something like that um i don't know if people can if they can justify how much is it like 
You said you, so you for the said switch. You, you, it's yeah for the switch. It's fifty four ninety nine, basically fifty five pound. Yeah. For the PS four, for some reason, it's fifty two ninety nine. Fifty-three pound, <laughs> and for the PS Five and Series X, it's forty-nine ninety-nine. Okay. So, okay. It's quite um, high. That's on Amazon. Yeah. Usually, RRP, mm-hmm. not less, right? I I was hoping for a forty tops, <laughs> maybe forty-five yeah, on the Switch because of the Switch mm. tax. <laughs> but uh, yeah. apart from that, uh, I don't know. Is it because of the online as well? That could be that could increase the price a little bit, like because of the servers and stuff. Maybe I know not long ago, say we were talking about raising the prices going forward, weren't they? Of mm-hmm. their games. Um, yeah, I don't know if, if if it's really justified for this, but I haven't played the game. We ha- we don't really know. Uh, we we know now a little bit more about it, and we'll talk a little bit about that that when we cover Gamescom. But maybe a little bit overpriced, perhaps. Yeah, so I'm still gonna buy it, but yeah, really me too. Of course, <laughs> of course, definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely, yeah. So no Sonic Mania two, at least for now. But uh, I'm, I'm yeah. actually, I think at some point we'll get another Pixel Sonic. I don't know what you guys think. Are you on the same boat or? I think we'll be uh, enough demand. Okay, I'm not Probably so here, sure. Like, like, like it's, it's, it's so, I'm, like maybe. Maybe, but it seems like they are going in a completely different direction right now. Yeah. I suppose if, if Superstars is like amazing, people quickly forget about Mania. Then, you know, yeah, mm-hmm. People will be asking for Superstars. I, I think, I think uh, Scott's, you know, touching on the, the thing that I was thinking here. Right. Okay. It, it, it looks good. It looks to be, I, I haven't played it, so I have no opinion on that. But from what I've seen, it looks good. It looks to, as if, controls well there's good physics and stuff but i think most will prefer mania as well <laughs> there's just mm. something about the classic sonic feel that you can't replicate with other art styles either um, but i don't know i i i think one huge important thing is to, is the control so if it feels like sonic mania i think that is a huge win that's 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 for me more important than how it looks. Definitely, to be honest. definitely. Yeah, for sure. Um, just want like add something, like make sure that this is uh, added because like most of the rumors so far that I've heard have been that oh, there's bad blood between uh, Whitehead, uh, Whitehead and Sega. And here in this interview, Whitehead confirms that that's not the case. That that's not why there wasn't a Sonic Mania two. It's mm-hmm. just that, you know, they were discussing it, but then according to the, to this article, I, I, I don't see that they go into why, but they just like mutually um, ma- ma- made the decision not to proceed with the development. To be it's, fair, the, even if there were like any kind of bad blood, they probably wouldn't say it, right? Yeah, in an interview, it wouldn't... I think that ma- maybe they wouldn't go that and 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 you know I hate that person, uh, they, but I I figured there would be some kind of hint that yeah okay something was wrong there yeah, yeah like you know uh, phrase it like in a kind but clear way. Mm-hmm. I don't know the these people so like I don't know how they would uh, f- f- phrase it, but like. If, uh, let's see here, like, because it, like, there is a quote here, like, literally says, like, from, from, from Whitehead, like, contrary to any rumors, we maintain a friendly relationship with Sega. Like, if you go out of your way, like, to say that, that clearly, like, you, you want to stop that, that, that rumor. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure one would phrase it that way. One would probably, mm-hmm. if there was bad blood, would phrase it like, yeah, it's such a mm-hmm. shame that they made that decision or, you know, something like that. Still it kind, but still, you know, time. alluding to something, you know. Yeah. But yeah. here, like, I uh, outright, that person comes out and says, this is the rumor. This is not true. I believe it. Okay. Okay. Excellent. And 
you know, the, the, the upside of this is we will get a new game by Evening Star, which is Whitehead's mm. studio, right? Penny's big I breakaway, which great. looks great. Looks amazing. Really excited great. about like that one as well. Cross between Clockwork Night and <laughs> like a Sonic game, perhaps. 3D yeah. version. Maybe. Looks good. Yeah. Really excited about that. Awesome. So that's it. No Sonic Mania 2. Boo. But okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> At least we got the first one. We got the, the, the Mania game that we always wanted, like the 2D game we, we've been asking for for a long time. So I'm I'm at least happy about that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It is a spiritual successor. They call it that. So like, I mean, sure. still got something, right? For sure. Yeah. I think, I think, I think eventually the there'll be enough, enough fans that demand another 2D classic game if Sega aren't giving them one. I think that'll happen. I, I also like feel that way. It's 10 years time. Maybe I also feel that way. You know, in a, yeah. Yeah. I think At so. At some point. Yeah. The, I guess it would be weird if they never ever released a uh, Pixel Sonic again. Yeah. 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 For sure. It's a marketing okay. thing, isn't it? Back to his roots. <laughs> mm -hmm. So moving on, guys, we have we have a lot of ground to cover. So it in but keeping it Sonic, uh, Origins Plus update. So there was, uh, mm -hmm. as you can see here, there was uh, a patch for Sonic Origins Plus on August 24th, right? Which includes some um, improvements to Game Gear games, right? So Lime, would you like to yeah. talk about the Sonic Game Gear <laughs> games included in Origins Plus? How, how, how can they improve them, you know? Uh-huh. to improve Lime. Um, first of all, like if we go through the list here, I went in to check uh, the last thing there that says like Game Gear games will now fill the provided space uh, properly and I went in to check in the game and uh, I could not figure out the difference uh, but then I went to like a previous stream that I did and then uh -huh. I saw it because like I was expecting a like the I, I was expecting the difference to be like the the game would like take up all of the space so like there would be no black borders because there's no need for black borders, mm -hmm. uh, but that was not the case. So I was like, but then what? What's different? And I sent some links to you in the yeah it's, I was I was Twitter Casey if quickly you want to trying to please show them on screen. If, if if you give me pl please there. keep talking yes you're, yeah, you're going yeah, yeah, yeah. so well yes while I <laughs> so while I, I do can, that I behind the, the scenes <laughs> I can paint the picture they've gone from thick black bars to slightly less thick black bars <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 like and again like I have now 100% the Sonic one uh, icingly um, many awesome songs there i knew about someone okay yeah so here is the um, how it looked before how it looked before the the, yes. the change yes and the after the after is oh no oh no secret stuff <laughs> okay yeah this is it's the after this. yeah like do you see the difference there i, I, I do I, see I, it i, I, I do see uh, it the, the, I was hoping we can see we can see them like side by side, but maybe that's not doable. So you're you're asking too much. Uh, okay, okay, to, okay. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. junior producer Casey here live, <laughs> but you can, but you, I, I, people can definitely notice the the difference. The the black bars yeah, yeah. on so the like, side, like, much like thicker. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, much thicker. Before and after. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Wait. So wait. Yeah. There we go. Let's try this. There we go. Here we are. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's it. So for people watching, for people watching, nice. For people listening, uh, you know, Skill Jim is doing like a very good impression some of hand the, gestures. Some hand, hand gestures. Some hand gestures. Showing how His thick living, the are. The living embodiment of uh, black bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the change no, is, is struggle. so uh, the change is that like uh, horizontally the the, mm -hmm. the borders are thinner, and the way that they achieved that is not to show more of the screen, but like they they stretched the image out. Mm -hmm. So, so like, um, yeah, I, I have every, I have is a little wider now. What I think is a justification for for why. Uh, 
what they did and why it's not really entirely covering all the black bars. So there, I, I've learned this from emulating. Oops. Uh, so if, and that depends on, if you have like things like this, like a device like this, like a, like a handheld, like a Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, which I have here, uh, mm. you have uh, the screen size, which is, you know, what you can work with. And then depending on how you decide to emulate the games, and usually emulators can let you choose if you want to go one-to-one -one emulation in terms of screen size and aspect ratio, or if you want to fill the entire screen, and that will do what this did. So if you, actually, if you look at the, the before image, uh, Sonic was a little bit thinner, right? Mm. And now he's like a little bit chunkier, a little mm. bit stretched out. Uh, that's, you know, how you try to replicate the the the, the screen, the effect of the, the original screen using emulation, I think. Uh, mm. And depending on the size of the screen you have to work with, if you want, I mean, they could have filled the, like the, the whole 16 by 9 window, but that would looked would have looked awful. Everything would be stretched out and awful. Um, but on native hardware, Casey, these these still black bars on a Game Gear, right? So sure yeah, so I think that's why they kept the black bars to emulate that Game Gear effect. They could have eliminated the black bars, just kept the image, the the screen, like the game area, how it is, and you know, eliminate the black bars and replace it with like the the overlay. Have the overlay yeah. go a little bit like... Could light. have done something. You know, I very, really like, feel like they could have done no something. No bezels. Yeah. Yeah. With it. But I think they're trying to emulate the, the Game Gear feel, like the Game Gear screen with the black bars that you had on the original. That's going to be that's the it. next update, Casey, the, the Plus Max update. Where they, they slowly yeah. get rid of an extra bezel. <laughs> probably, probably. So people are... Matt, for example, uh, was saying... Um, Origins Plus rigged of a policy of shove it out the door, no matter the state upon release. Quite harsh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. It does have a lot of problems. I'm sorry, but it does have a, have a lot of problems. I've played so much of that, and it's, it, it is very glitchy. There are glitches mm -hmm. there that I've never, ever seen playing these games ever, it, and very weird ones uh, as well. Like, just randomly, again, what... <laughs> What's what is with uh, Sonic games recently and just randomly falling through the floor? It's, yeah, it's, like, it's been my experience so many times now. It's the opposite of that uh, Tears of the Kingdom Kingdom power. You can ascend, mm -hmm. right? You can uh -huh. fall through the floor. So, <laughs> power. game of the year. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Uh, when it was released, it was like that, that Tails bug. Was like the major one, wasn't it? With the tails dying off screen all the time. And you know, something, something should have been Master System port. <laughs> Probably. I can get into that. I can get into yes. that. I have a lot of, I have a lot of things to say about that. Because <laughs> yes, holy crap, that is true. Because they could have done the Master uh, System ports of the Master System games, and then the Game Gear ones of like Labyrinth or whatever that wasn't on the Master System. Yeah, yeah, that, right, that right, amazing right, right, game, right. Sonic Labyrinth, everyone's favorite. Mm. Like, right. <laughs> I don't I, know. I don't know why, why. Why? What was like the reasoning behind? Let's do the the Game Gear versions when the Master System work better on a TV. I I don't really see the reasoning behind that. There's no like. Is that nostal? There's n nostalgia towards the Game Gear instead of the Master System. I don't think so. It's the same game, just. Can see it the better. Switch is a handheld, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but this is on other systems as well, so it's not only on the Very switch. True, actually. Uh, can I just add something? Yeah. just uh, randomly in the middle of the car, mm -hmm. car conversation. Please I do. Just you know, I just want to turn directly to Doctor Scottnik and say "f you" right now. <laughs> <laughs> so for people That's listening who are not watching the comments. He says, though Lime <laughs> needs to get better at Sonic 2, just saying. So that's why. That is, that is, 
Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. So this is the case. This is the this is the case. I was for the first <laughs> so many uh so Sonic fans have already experienced this. And I yeah, like just the other day experienced this experienced this for the first time. Sonic 2 uh the 8-bit version on the the the, the game gear. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> I did not <laughs> figure that it would be a problem, really. I was just, ah, you know, it's a bit of a screen crunch. You, do, you don't see as much in the Game Gear mm -hmm. uh, version around you as you see in a Master System version. Ah, it's not going to be uh, uh, much of a problem. And then I reached the first boss. And then I was like, because the boss is, oh, you know, it's a little <laughs> slant, slanty, slanty floor. Mm -hmm. And um, the egg, yeah, yeah, this is tiny space. <laughs> and then the Eggman drops what I can only describe as a, um, what, what was it called? Uh, is it a cannonball? A cannonball? Yeah. A cannonball, I okay, think, yes. Like, or, yes. Or a bomb yes, or a cannonball, cannonball or something, something like that. So it bounces and you're supposed to avoid it as it bounces. And it, it bounces at different like um, uh, rates and rhythms every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have no way to see what is going on there. And I was like, oh, this is a difficult boss. And then SD was in chat and, and was like, yeah, it's difficult because it's a Game Gear version. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it, it can't be that much of a difference. And I kept dying and I kept dying and I kept dying. And people said that, no, 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 no. In the Master System version, you can see where Eggman drops it. So it's easier. And I'm like, okay, you know, let's try it. So I tried the Master System version. And yeah, you see a lot more, and it's important to see that. To sort of, I, I, I cleared that. Uh, I, I beat that boss first try, just because now I could finally I see it. Yeah. yeah, and so if it's yeah. so important to see that, it's 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 baffling that they made <laughs> that choice with, with 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 the Game Gear version. Like they advertised this as a definitive way to play the classical Sonic games. And then they add the version where it's like unfair. It's basically like to, to me, I died so many times. That's <laughs> and because I couldn't see what I was supposed to see in the first place. And you so have to hit him eight times as well. It's frustrating. It? Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. very frustrating. Yeah. And Back this, in the day, let, I, I must let, have let me add one. 16 Sorry. AA batteries. <laughs> <laughs> and I still didn't pass the level. Yeah. Uh, let, There's nothing past that, that first level. It's the whole oh, game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else. There is Secret one detail that I would like to add. Because there is one more reason for why I, I cleared the, the boss the first try in, in, in the Master System version. Because in the Master System version, yes, I could see more. I could see how and where the ball bounced. Mm -hmm. But the ball bounced the exact same way every time. Every time. Yeah, I, I think tried so, it several yeah. times. It was every time. So then I then when I get back to the got back to the Game Gear version, first of all, I felt blind because now I could not see as much as I could before. It was like like trying to navigate your room <laughs> when with your eyes closed. It was it, that's how it felt like. And so in the Game Gear version where you can't see what you need to see, then the ball bounces in different rates. So in the version where you really need to see where the ball comes from, you can't. Are they trolling me? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, I'm Scott, refusing, Scott I'm says, absolutely refusing to play that that, 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 that that version now. I'm not playing the Game Gear version. You know, I am going Scott to says play you need, you need to get good. I am going to play Sonic 2 8 bit, but not that version. I'm refusing. I am going <laughs> to like go with five, the Master System version. The definitive way to play those classical games, my ass. <laughs> oh, thank you for the rant. Oh my God. Uh, I need very to talk strong about this. feelings. Very strong I feelings to talk here. About this. <laughs> so, yeah, go play Origins Plus. Uh, the Game Gear versions of, of Sonic games definitely do that. You can play Sonic <laughs> Labyrinth, which is a nice one. Sonic 1 was fine. It was, yeah. uh, it, it was a blast. It was awesome music. It's identical it could to not... the Genesis version, isn't it? So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. 
You yeah. want to talk about that too? You want to talk no, about that too? I think so. We'll, we'll talk about that on a, a future show. <laughs> on another, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> on that's another very interesting show. as well. well. We'll dedicate a special show and we'll... we'll to, to that, just to, to, to the, to the whole the Sonic LC. thing, to or mm. maybe to just the Origins plus menus and Game Gear versions <laughs> of games. Maybe by that time it's changed. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's very weird. Yeah, so uh, we we'll talk about Gamescom, but uh, very soon we'll have TGS Tokyo Game Show happening as well, which is another thing we wanted to to discuss so sega and okay, atlas will stream a special broadcast from tokyo tokyo game show which is happening on uh september 21st at 7 p.m japan time which is 3 a.m pacific 6 a.m eastern so that's 11 a.m uh bst uk uk time yeah mm -hmm. so right. there were no real details but Probably Sonic Superstar. I am. So uh, 11, what did I say? PM? No, AM. 11 AM, yeah. UK, okay. UK time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Matt says Shenmue 4 announcement, right? Of, of course. course. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott says, watch them announce a new mobile game and nothing else. <laughs> are, we, are, are we expecting any announcements, do you reckon? The way they worded I, I, this article. It says like to see the new releases, mm -hmm. whatever. So it kind of yeah, doesn't sound like it. But I mean, they sometimes. But I, what, what could they talk about? Maybe like a dragon infinite wealth, perhaps, because you know, like a dragon Gaiden will be will be out on November or in November. So apart from like trailers and gameplay stuff, it's not really an announcement. But maybe we'll know a little bit more about the the upcoming like mainline game, like a Dragon Eight, right? Infinite Wealth, mm. which is out in twenty twenty four. Well, the way this article reads is like we're expecting to see trailers of or new trailers of new games. Yeah, it, but only if it's something that's been being developed in yeah. in Japan, I think. So if it's something like from other studios or whatever, I don't see it being announced at TGS, but okay. Is there anything Japan side that we don't know about? You know, like a new Hatsumi Miku game or something? Uh, or like Ball Break know. or something like if, that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it mentions the that Atlas game, uh, Metaphor, okay. Reef and Tezio. Whatever that means or is pronounced, whatever <laughs> it's pronounced. But yeah, um, could be. I disagree, could be. SD. SD, I disagree. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. And SD says, disagree. I hope Ichiban Kasuga has some clothes on this time, and I disagree. <laughs> Bitch with uh, like six would be nuts. That would be a good yeah. Would be. Would be. But uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe something regarding the the movies they've been working on, right? They're apparently working on movies tied to Sega IP. Could be. Would that be on a Ooh. Japanese show? Is, is that like a Western made production? I mean, <sighs> but it's but it's like it's like a, the 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 they are classic Sega. IPs, yeah, yeah. so maybe they would like to at least tease something there, what and maybe then many that they were they were struggling with. Um, I don't <laughs> see it happening. I don't see it happening. To be honest, <laughs> I just love how your face changed there. You're like very optimistic, and then like actually, <laughs> I was like, ah, no, oh, yeah. So this is this is a thing. So. Do uh, watch it on uh, September twenty uh, first if you're if you're available. I'll be uh, on holiday at that time, so maybe I'll I'll be at the beach. Oh, nice! And enjoying nice. myself. Good. Maybe, maybe we'll see. Eleven a.m. <laughs> at eleven a.m. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> playing playing my Game Gear games on the go. Which is actually how we do it because it's Game Gear. It's on the go. Always has been. Never mind. 
Playing okay. the only level in Sonic 2 all over and over and over again. Yes. Yes. Sounds like a great holiday to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, Lime, this is another one for you. Fast Friends mm. Forever. Fast Friends Yay. Forever. Yeah. I saw a trailer about that on uh, X Twitter. The, um, like Former, some the artist formerly known as ago. Twitter. Yeah. And uh, I, I was a little bit, a little bit confused about what it was at first, but then I went in to check to to see see what it was, and let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, sorry. Like they do have a a a website, uh, sonnetthehedgehog dot com slash fast friends forever, um, and it says here like throughout the power of teamwork. Together, we can accomplish anything. We have launched a new Fast Friends Forever campaign to celebrate Sonic the Hedgehog's amazing fans. So it's a celebration of the fans. That's amazing. We all know Sonic loves to go fast, but also knows the importance of friendship, teamwork, inspiration, and loyalty. The initiative focuses on how Sonic and friends demonstrate their values, both in and out of the games. So, yeah, and then like later down below, they um, they show Sonic Sympathy, a Symphony. They show some other events. So it seems to be like this, um, like a whole a whole campaign about bringing uh, Sonic fans to uh, to together, and I find that interesting. And it seemed to do that through these events. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's as far as I've understood it. Uh, I, I don't know if you have like any other like knowledge about this, but that's well, that's that, Sonic that's... Speed Cafe looks quite interesting. They've like done a pop up official Sonic themed cafe in San Diego. Yes, yeah, so oh, this was the thing they did at San Diego oh, or in San Diego, so like, that was for, like uh, next to Comic Con. Can we go there, please, yeah. D Daddy Casey? <laughs> can we go there? It. It, it's closed now, son, but okay. Next time. Wanna, next time, I son. Go. I want to go. <laughs> we have Sonic Speed Cafe here at home. Blue, blue, suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's coffee in a mug, yes, with, with yeah, Sonic. Thank you. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> the, uh, the Golden Rings food item sounds interesting they, they, they were crazy expensive by the way i i so if you if you could uh you could uh follow the the sonic speed cafe account on instagram and everything was really they were had like amazing uh menus like meals but then everything was like 50 dollars plus or something oh for really? like wow. a, a, a hot dog and a slushy and and some onion rings or whatever it was really rings, really overpriced but mm. probably delicious and really bad for Stones your health up. but yeah that was the thing um <laughs> but yeah I, I i would have loved to 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 have have the opportunity to 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 go there or uh, at least see what it's what it was all about and like the decorations one and stuff like one one time things you do into it yeah. yeah, but a good idea, a good idea to promote the brand. I always get this like fear of missing missing out. Like there's like a Twi TwitchCon or a Gamescom. Like, like especially when I saw photos of uh, Dr. Scottning being at Gamescom, meeting awesome people. And I'm like, I want to do that too. I would so love to do that. But yeah, next year, Lime. Let's do something next year. So this year, in, just like in 2020, I was planning on uh, going to Gamescom and like mm. meeting everyone. I had a plan this year as well, but it didn't go through. So let's do, let's try to do something together next year. Let's go to Gamescom or something. I would Don't. love that if I could like must. I actually, I guess I could because I have a huge fear of fear, fear of flying, like an extreme huge fear, fear of flying. But I guess I could maybe find my way there uh, not flying, actually. <laughs> not I think flying. it's possible going from Sweden to so, London. Yeah, I... I 
flights are from from Portugal to Cologne are not too expensive, but hotels are expensive. Yes, so that was part of the problem. So I I had something else that I had to give my money to throw my money at. So that was part of a problem in scheduling conflicts. But I I have scheduling I mean, conflicts. Yes, I have. Is that I'm what you very, do? <laughs> I'm a very busy person. Um, Casey sitting there scheduling the conflicts. <laughs> exactly. And um, but I I have like a press pass. I had one. I had like a, one for 2020, but for this year as well. <laughs> so maybe I'll try again next year. And they're like, okay, why are we giving you these press passes if you're not attending the <laughs> show? But yeah. So maybe I'll try again next year and see if it works. Would have been nice mm. to to meet everyone and see Scottnik. But maybe this was the real reason. Like Scottnik says, it's because you knew I was I was going, wasn't it? Maybe. That's Aww. why I decided against going myself. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so speaking of, and this looks like a really nice campaign, right? They they actually uh shared a like a video like a real life video of yeah. Sonic fans doing stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Not really on brand with the more meme stuff they usually do, but nice nonetheless. But one of the the pillars of this Fast Friends Forever uh, experience is the Sonic Symphony World Tour, which I mm. understand, James, you are attending in London, right? Yeah. Ooh, nice segue. Exactly. Nice and segue there. Very nice segue. Yeah, I was gonna say, and that's the reason why it's it's it, you know it's really cool to have this official means of fans meeting up because like like you say, this is the the whole purpose of the Fast Friends Unite campaign or whatever, Fast Friends Forever. Um, so yeah, myself and and this is the Shemu Dojo fan community side of things as well. We're all attending, so there's like a mixture of Shemu fans and Sonic fans going to uh, the London event. Uh, Casey's pulling up the tour dates here. Um, but yeah, really cool. They've added loads of new dates now. Uh, it depends on where you live in the world. Check. You never know. These look at here. These LA, Brazil, Paris, uh, Paris, sorry. Um, Boston, <laughs> Chicago. Is that Dusseldorf? Is Germany, is it? Um, so there's quite a lot yes, of like, Germany. American dates there. Yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo, if even. You prefer. Canada. Mm -hmm. So yeah, again, it, it is sort sort of a world tour as such. Um, but yeah, we're yeah, they, they call to, it there. They, they call it world tour. World tour, yeah, yeah. True to the name, we're going to the London event, which um, newsworthy wise is why we bring this up as such is because Tomoya Atani and Jun Snoi have announced that they're going to be there on the opening day. I guess um, it's a little interesting actually. Because the first date was the 16th of September there, Casey. You just had it up a second ago. And yeah. it was 8 p.m. And that was the one that we we booked to go attend at. That was like the first date. And then they've added a second date. And you would have expected like the London to be a different day. But it's actually the same day, but at half past, well, 3.30 on the same 3 day. 3.30 p.m. Mm. Yeah. So that's, I'm assuming he's going to be there, right, on both of those shows. It doesn't specify, right? He says, I'm, I'm glad to announce that I will be joining Sonic's first official world tour, Sonic Symphony. I will be for, performing at the London show on September 16th. So you'd assume he'd be at, at both. At the London show or the I London know. shows? See, see, the London show would be the 8pm one. Probably. Before, because that was the first one. It's the main one, you, right? You'd think if he's, if he's there mere five hours <laughs> earlier isn't going to be too much. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but that, but they're, so they're both sold seen. out. They're both sold out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I don't both. know about the LA show. Is the LA show sold out? Uh, the 8 p.m. one, yes. The 3.30 p.m., no, not yet. So they also added uh, an earlier show. I think, judging by how they've structured that, you would assume that he's going to be at both shows. That's why they've probably Problem. done that, make the most of the day. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're interested in seeing... Tommy Atani, Gene Snowy, you're going to have to um, get a, a scalped ticket mm -hmm. for the London show or go for the, uh, the LA show there. Yeah. And so, and really obviously, you know, June and uh, Otani are, are watching. So please, you know, do your best to come to the Lisbon show. 
whenever that gets announced. Because, you know, we know it's going to be announced very soon. Yeah, (laughs) waiting for that. (laughs) And everyone can come to Portugal and we can all meet up here. Yes. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? You know, fast friends. There are so many people in Portugal that I would love to meet. So, yeah, I would be highly motivated. That would be a, a a good idea. Okay, so that's the symphony tour covered as well. Um, Very briefly, very briefly, we also had an announcement regarding uh, the amazing, the lovely TJ Davis, right, Uh, Mm. James? When I saw this on Twitter, for a brief second, I was like, oh, is she going to be at the the symphony shows? And we're like, we're going to have like a a sonic R block. (laughs) But no, it's it's, um, a different show, but a very cool show by the sounds of it. This is in Bristol which is also mm-hmm. in the UK. Um, I'm not sure what's the full name of the show. Uh, Sonic, Sonic Fan Fest. Fan Fest. Right, yes. okay. So the F- Sonic Fan Fest in Bristol. Um, yeah, she's going to be appearing there. So you would assume that she's going to be singing a lot of Sonic R songs. Um, she may be even tailor off into some Metropolis Street Racer stuff. <laughs> or whatever, but you never know. Um, she no, usually does, uh, so... I think I've seen her uh, do a, like a live show on YouTube before. Um, that's why I mentioned. Yeah, it, she yeah, she went amazing. to one of the S- Summer of Sonic ones events. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think one of the first ones, and she yep. sang I think a couple of MSR tracks as well. So yeah. so yeah, it's, it's looking good. Mm-hmm. I know there's another Sonic fan show somewhere. I think in, in America, that's got all the voice actors. Have you seen that recently? Uh yeah yeah. Yeah, but I'm not really too familiar with it. So no, I'm not yeah. too familiar with that. But yeah, yeah. As, as Resident Evil says, the first one. Right. I mean, the not first long. one that wasn't online, because the first one was online. Okay. Yeah. And that was okay. the last time T.J. Davis was was seen. <laughs> was <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> wow. That's so long ago, though, isn't it? Two thousand and eight. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So definitely uh, a plus if you're planning on on attending Sonic Fan Fest Saturday if the fourteenth of it's October. Really, really been that long. So like what, fifteen years? I may have to yeah. try and find the time to go to this one now. Yeah. I I would love to go, but I'm not likely. Not likely happening for me. I don't know. Schedule. What about <laughs> you guys? Uh, yeah, I, like I, I might actually look into it now. Now that you said that. If she's very like a, a rare Pokemon, mm-hmm. yeah, we have to show up. Previous guest of the Sega Lounge, by the way, <laughs> and she sang a little bit. So yeah. Oh, awesome! Great, great stuff. A few years ago, lovely lady, lovely lady. Okay, so that's uh, that's TJ Davis, <laughs> amazing, amazing singer. Uh, really, I'm really a big fan, to be honest. So really excited to whatever we get. Something related to TJ Davis, always, always appreciated. Okay, so the question is, um, what, what, when you talk yeah. to the when you t- when you talk to her, yes, could you feel the sunshine? I could. Oh yeah, it was really warm. Oh, okay, and right, I, I felt like warm That's and fuzzy inside. Yeah, I can. I get that. She, she, uh, she had her daughter next to her. So this was a few years ago. Her daughter was still a child. And she was like, very cute. And she talked to the microphone as well for a little bit. So we did oh, it live on Radio Sega back in the day when the Sega Lounge was live. So on, on, on the radio. So mm-hmm. very cool. Very cool. Good memories. <laughs> okay. So moving on. Moving swiftly on. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is out on PC and Switch. And I had on our like outline document, I, I wrote, yay, because it's amazing, because it's really, really good. Um, it's a great game. If you're a fan of a Jet Set Radio, you're going to love Bomb Rush uh, Cyberfunk. It's, it's really so good, guys. Really, really good. Um, Explain to me, well, like, what is the deal with that game? Like, it looks like the uh, Jesset Radio. It seems like it plays like it, but it's not called Jesset Radio. Is it like a completely different IP, or like, is it? A, yes, a it's a completely different successor? IP. Yeah, okay. different. So Sega doesn't do anything. Isn't doing anything with the the Jesset Radio IP, right? 
Uh, they've re-released Jets of Radio, the, the original Jets of Radio, like a couple of times mm. uh, on more recent platforms, just like the game as it is. Uh, but they don't; they're not doing anything uh, new with with uh, the IP. So, uh, Team Reptile or Reptile Games, I think, uh, who are the people behind uh, Lethal League, Lethal League, and Lethal League Blaze? Um, no, doesn't ring any bells. No, no, okay. it doesn't ring a bell. Okay, <laughs> sounds familiar, but I, I can't. Yeah, with like a similar aesthetic, like um, it's like a sort of a fighting game and like, um, mm -hmm. but not really like sports fighting. I can't really describe it. Uh, I haven't played it too much, but the the music, the the sounds, the 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 style, the aesthetics are the same. Uh, Hideki Naganuma, who was like the main composer of Jet Set Radio soundtracks, worked on that uh, game as well, Lethal League. Uh, and now they invited him to to write some tracks for for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk right. and other very talented musicians. So this is basically the aesthetics of Chess of Radio. I think more future than the original because of the yeah, little, little bit positive. It's nice as well. Yeah, it's not really. I think the, the the original was more brighter, like like blue sky Sega kind of stuff. The the, f the second game, Just a Radio Future, was a little bit like uh, edgier and darker in tone, futuristic. more futuristic even. Yeah. So this one, I think, is like a spiritual successor to Just a Radio Future. It's like yeah. the same sort of gameplay style. You like you skate through things on rails and stuff. You try to create combos, which there's a more emphasis on the combo mechanic than in Jet Set Radio. Uh, the, you can actually, you know, uh, chain moves together and tricks together and you get mm. try to get like the highest scores. Uh, instead of just like rollerblades, you have rollerblades, you have skateboards, you have bikes, BMX, you can oh. ride. Um, there are like hidden areas. You have graffiti as well. And it's like a little bit like the original Jesser Radio where you had like to turn the, to move the analog stick of just one, the analog stick of the Dreamcast <laughs> controller, just one, <laughs> uh, to, to do the, the graffiti. Here, you have to move the analog stick as well. And depending on, um, you have like a star, like, like the eight points of like the directionals, right? Up, down, left, right, and the diagonals. And depending on how you move the analog stick, you uh, write a different kind of graffiti on the wall. Right? So okay. you, have, you can unlock different designs and um, depending on which way you move the, the analog stick, you do different designs. You can choose what you put on the wall. Whereas in Jets of Radio, you had one, uh, like short graffiti or small, the medium one and the large. You had one of each. Now you can choose from all the ones that you've unlocked and you just have to remember <laughs> the directions you have to move the the stick in and you can uh, do what you want. It has a, it's like a, a deeper story, perhaps. There's like a story that you, uh, you know, get through throughout the game. Uh, rival gangs, so a little bit like Chat Set Radio, but more improved in terms of gameplay. Same style of soundtrack, and just like Resident ST was saying, the soundtrack is phenomenal. I've I've beat the game, haven't uh, one hundred percented it, but beat the, like the it main take, story. Take it to yeah, yeah. Haven't one hundred percented it. No, disappointing. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Dan. How long Dan. did it take, Casey, like the playthrough? Would you say? Uh, maybe like, I don't know, all in all. I, I get distracted a lot <laughs> because it's hard to, not to get distracted uh, chaining combos together, at least for me. It's so satisfying okay. that I get distracted a lot. But I maybe like if I was just focusing on the story, probably around 10 hours, perhaps, maybe okay. 10, 15. Sounds about right. Maybe. Yeah, and I played it on my Steam Deck, which is really nice. Um, is there anything to collect? You know, like the graffiti souls. 
Yeah, graffiti. So you, you can uh, collect different graffiti, like designs, uh, different clothes for your characters. There are several characters. Each of them have like four styles, those four seasons. So spring, summer, fall, and uh, winter. You can uh, unlock them as well, collect them throughout the, the, the game map. Um, there are graffiti spots, and they're not all mandatory to progress through the story, but if you want to, like, 100% uh, the, the areas, you have to tag everything. Uh, some of them are hidden or not quite accessible, so you have to look for them a little bit harder. Um, you can uh, um, collect songs as well. Okay, so you collect, like, uh, cassettes that are hovering around hidden places, and you unlock songs to hear while you play the game. So, yeah. Seems really, really cool stuff. And it's great on the Steam Deck. Matt was asking, how is it on the Steam Deck? Great. Plays wonderfully. So, really. And am I um, right in thinking that it's coming out tomorrow on PlayStation 5? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I, I I'm sure I saw the first September. But it was like Yeah, okay, Matt says yeah, it is. Matt okay. says it is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so tomorrow sorted. Well not actually not tomorrow sorted because I'm busy tomorrow, but <laughs> the weekend sorted for me. That's it. Okay, so yeah, definitely uh wanted to shout out Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Definitely recommend it. Great. it, it yeah. Especially if you're a Jet Set Radio fan, but not only if you're a Jet Set Radio fan. Okay, so last thing before we move on to Gamescom stuff uh, is something that happened yesterday, which was the Like a Dragon Gaiden stream. Have you guys watched at least a little bit of it? Yeah. I haven't oh. actually, no. It yeah. looks absolutely awesome. I it wanna. Does. I really want to play that. I, I feel like I need to have played a lot of uh, other Yakuza games first. I, I, I don't know what the story, story is, if it's like a separate story or if I need to know things before. What, what but I, I would played, absolutely Lime? love. I've only played um, Yakuza Like a Dragon, uh, Like a Dragon 7. Um, uh, that's the it, only it, one it I played. It ties into that, at, at least from, from what I saw in the stream, it ties yeah, into that. that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, but like, I... I do, th I, I did find it interesting that you have a different fighting styles. Like one, like you used high tech stuff, and like another style where you're like basically like street fight, kind of like more raw style mm -hmm. kind of thingy. Uh, from what I saw from the trailer, that looks amazing as well. So. I would love to get my hands on that game, but I would love to do that at a point where I feel like I can fully um, enjoy it. And I feel like I I got some work to do before that. I can understand that. Yeah, I can understand it. Like the, the, the lore behind, uh, yeah. behind the game. Yeah, I get that. I get that actually. But I don't think you really need to know everything. Uh, to enjoy the game, but it wouldn't hurt either because you know, at least you you would. Um, I mean, know why Kiryu is where he is right now. Why he had to change his name, which is actually in yeah. the title of the game. <laughs> so yeah. it wouldn't like, hurt. Obviously, an overarching narrative, like, but I think that's probably why they dropped the numbering system because you can't just play. Any of them really, and there's like a, a standalone story. Yeah. Within that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, the in this one is like um, a, a standalone game as well because it ties. I think that they at some point they said it. Okay, we'll we'll leave Kiryu behind and just focus on this new character. But then they realized now we really need to bring Kiryu back somehow. People miss Kiryu is not the same thing, so and now this Football is like game. the way to tie in both both parts of the the franchise, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and cool. so and bring both kinds of fans together, maybe as well. <laughs> I was trying to to show a 
little bit of the of the stream here. Uh, let's see if people can see it. Okay, there we go. So this happened yesterday, right? And they had like um, the voice actor for Kiryu um, on on stream to talk about the English voice voice actor, obviously. And they showed this little movie that talks a little bit about the story and how everything is connected to previous Yakuza or like a dragon games to, um, to like a dra Yakuza, like a dragon and to infinite wealth, which is coming after. So mm -hmm. everything seems to be tied together and it's a, a good way for people who don't know about the series to learn a little bit more as well. So this might be a good place to start if you're not really that familiar with the franchise, uh, I think. The orphanage from three, right? Exactly. So there is like so, bits and pieces that. Yeah, I think, you know, it's got. It, it, they tie the, the QU story together with everything else. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. people who are not familiar with uh, the previous games might learn more about it as well. There's Sotenbori as well, uh, mm -hmm. Okinawa. So you. Go to familiar places and new ones. So, Interesting. Yeah. It's nice. So it's like um, how long? It's one hour long. So one hour long stream. I think it's worth it for for people who want to know more about this this upcoming game. Good. Who's excited about this? I'm excited. Yeah, looking about at it now. Very excited. Yeah. I don't and know when I'm going to get to it, but I'm definitely going to get to it. They explain here somewhere that you have like two styles of gameplay, right? So you have like agent gameplay, which is, uh, you know, uh, Kiryu being like a secret agent with like high tech gear and doing unusual oh, stuff. For about this, like a James Bond type of thing. Yeah, it's like hat and the sunglasses and it's like like this yeah. with this earpiece. And then there's Yakuza mode, which is the usual one that we you know see. You have like. Okay, okay. Gear that does crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it's hilarious yeah. to see. Nice that it's like it looks awesome. Yeah. Again, then? Because I, I was thinking it would be turn based. Turn based. No, no, no. This is like the, the I would say proper, because it's the one that I prefer. But I, I think yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the next one will be turn based again. I think they explained okay, it cool. somehow, somewhere. But I don't really know. Like I don't have one, like the timestamps. There's like also clan stuff. Like the team building thing that they had on other games, uh, somehow. So yeah, but you guys can watch it later, right? Definitely. <laughs> Sorry yeah, to be to spoil, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is great. This is looks looks great. So something to look forward to later this year. Let's talk a little bit about Gamescom then. Let's start with what I think was probably, you know, if I had to pick like one thing from Gamescom that was the best part of Gamescom was, it was for me, um, this thing. It's the uh, Sonic statue. Yeah. Sonic statue. Mm -hmm. The Sega World Sonic statue. Restored. Did you ever actually go? Say, Sonic, Sega World, sorry. Oh, no, 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 not me, not so me. Just, just seeing so this dirty. footage, though, like, like really, I, I, not sure how old I would have been, maybe like eight or nine or ten or something like that. That's Oops. when I went to, sorry. to Sega World. Yeah. Oh, it just takes so you they... about, that, about that early footage of Sega World. Just... Mm -hmm. I wish and they, they did a great job restoring the statue. The statue looks amazing. Mm. And so people who were there, like like Scott, I don't know if Scott's still here, but he was able to see the statue in person, which is amazing. Looks really good. It's a good. shame. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, where's that been all this time? Like, you see, kind of see it in the corner of a room there with, like, 
piles all over it or whatever. I don't know. It was like full of dust. So from warm. from uh, what I um, understand, it wasn't really was stored somewhere, but I don't know if it was in Sega's possession or not. Hmm. I think there was, I, think was I remember awesome. watching something a, a while ago about it, like a video someone made about this. I, I think it was like just thrown away somewhere. Hmm. But now they, they were able, like Danny, Danny Russell, and a few other people were able to, to bring it back and restore it or ask someone, pay someone to restore it, obviously. Yeah, and Scott this saw it. An amazing job. Eyes. Yeah. Like, I was thinking I must have a photograph in front of that statue somewhere from when mm -hmm. I was a kid. I just, I don't have a memory of it as such. Um, I, all I can think is, I'm sure there was like a Sonic above the opening because it was like the sort of arch thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was a big Sonic there. And then you walk through and there was like some shops, like maybe like a candy shop or something on the left and right. Okay. And then you, as you got further forward, then you saw like this massive, almost like a rocket escalator. It was like insane. It, especially as a, a young kid, it, it looked huge. And it was like the, this, this escalator that you took up and there was like rings around the escalator with like glowing lights and stuff. It just looked phenomenal in there. And I remember going all the way up there. And then there was a big shop on the right, and that that must be where that Sonic statue was in the shop. Mm -hmm. And I've still got to this day, I've got this this little tiny metal Sonic figure that says Sega World on. And I don't know where, where the pen is. I bought a pen, but it was one of those, you know, they were like quite popular back in the day where it was like a water pen. Yeah. You tilt it and like, yeah. you know, little nudie lady clothes come off. But this was like Sonic... <laughs> This was Sonic running yeah. down the pen. Sonic clothes comes off. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. But this this was Sonic like running down the pen. It looked really cool. How uh, Sonic's yeah. hot dog. <laughs> Never mind. KC. Okay. <laughs> like, what? What? K yeah. What am I hearing? What? What? Family friendly show. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. We're talking about food here. Yeah, but, but so, yeah, awesome. Awesome that they did this. Uh, and I, I'm not sure how uh, they didn't win, like, best show floor. Or, I think Namco, oh. Band Bandai Namco won really? best show floor or that whatever. Video I, I saw, I think it was either on TikTok or I saw it on Twitter anyway, but it was like a really fast one-minute pan of all of the, the show floor. It just looked stunning. Like, huge yeah. area. Um, unbelievable, really, that the... They set that up just for like one, one or two or three days or whatever it is. Because it's, you know, true. That's off to them. So, again, really sorry that I couldn't make it <laughs> to Gamescom this year. <laughs> yeah. Scott says, can confirm Sega's was the coolest. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I don't know how they didn't win. There's bias, prejudice against it's win just for the statue alone. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So in terms of um, of stuff that got announced, so we obviously had some Sonic stuff, right? So we finally, and remember what we said last time we did this live, we tried to, to predict what would happen and we said mm -hmm. Sonic Superstars release date. Yes, we got that, right? Did so Adventure 3 as well? <laughs> <laughs> Adventure 3. I don't remember that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it was out on the 17th of October, October. So, yeah. uh, like Too far a away. month and a half away. Yep. Yeah. That's mm. nice. I was hoping for, um, multiplayer news, but not really the multiplayer news that we got. So, uh, apparently there is multiplayer, not just like couch co-op, local co-op, but there is like a battle mode as well. It's online as well. It's online. Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah. Sorry. I meant yeah. online multiplayer, but it's not for like the co-op game, apparently, which is okay. really so sad. Let really me sad. rephrase like, that then. So is is the couch co-op then as well? Like yes, there is local co-op, local co-op, yeah. one to four players, uh, like the main story from what I understand, but... The multiplayer aspect, like the, um, there is online play for, if you try like this battle mode or whatever it is, which like different, different modes and different missions or whatever, but yeah. So no online play for the main game is what you said? 
I think that's the case, which is really um, upsetting to me. I was hoping to play this online with with people, like the co op, yeah. the main uh, co op game, but apparently not. Yeah. Maybe Sonic Superstars Plus next year. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe. I mean, it's Maybe. Already a premium game. <laughs> Like sixty dollars or sixty pounds for the addition of online play. Plus, plus yeah. the system collection. <laughs> nice. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so you had mentioned this. I, I just saw it here in the Gamescom section, James. So fifty-five yeah. pounds for the Switch version, fifty-three pounds for the PS4. 50 for the PS5 and Series X, which doesn't make sense. <clears throat> but it's sense. also on Amazon, right? So is that subject to change, possibly? Amazon yeah. wise. Is it do we have like prices for the digital versions yet? Um, that's a good question. Have a quick look. I actually don't like know. The, the, the PlayStation store. Oh, I'll have a quick check on my phone while you guys talk yeah. about something if you like. So while you do that, uh, another thing that happened and was shared during Gamescom or like maybe the day before Gamescom actually started, but like as part of Gamescom, obviously, was a new DLC, the last DLC for Sonic Frontiers. Uh, um, yeah. And you see that? Sorry, okay. It's fifty four ninety nine. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. No, Wait, let's, let's that's more important now. Wait. Let's, there we go. There we go. Fifty four ninety nine. So it's even more expensive. And what have we got here? That's, That's PS five, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the deluxe edition. That's what you get with the deluxe. You got That's $59.99. Oh, 59 99. Wow. See That's that? like a sixty sixty pound dollar £60 pound game. game. Sonic Superstars Lego Fun Pack. Extra yeah. content pack. Not sure. And then a digital art book and mini soundtrack. That's an extra five pound from the standard edition. Mm -hmm. That's the digital. Quite and really, isn't uh, it? Matt says sixty pounds on Xbox Digital as well. Oh my! Nice hand. High five. High five. Okay. Actually, actually, no. High five. High five. Hold on. Yeah, I could do it like. A... <laughs> 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 okay. So, Sonic Frontiers um, <laughs> Final Horizon update teaser. Uh, people were saying, by the way, and I want to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, th coming up, there we go. People were saying that this is supersonic, obviously. And, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, this is hypersonic. Oh. Is it? I was going to say that. I thought that at the time. I thought that was hyper Sonic. Yeah, really. But I'm not sure because like, he's like more whitish, isn't he, in Sonic Three? I don't know. And Knuckles. It's like, but where are the super emeralds? Does that he go make him turn into? Yeah. I, don't I don't know. know. Like, <sighs> my my first thought is like, I mean, it's possible that it is. Uh, stronger supersonic uh, i i figure but hypersonic has like flashes in rainbow so how could it be like you, in that case like it would three, be like a completely like, new take on hypersonic could be. could be i didn't even think about hypersonic i just saw people online saying oh hypersonic's back no, I, I think i did say yeah that no time. why would you think live. that like it's it it it's it's just supersonic unleashing, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's like, why because it was like, like supersonic up. and then superasonic. <laughs> super yeah. yes, super supersonic, sonic supersonic. It cool. Yeah, uh, like uh, again, it could definitely be supersonic tapping into something more powerful. I I can buy mm -hmm. that, but hypersonic does not look like that. No, that's has not. He, has he ever changed the color of his eye before, apart from Sonic Adventure? My God, that's interesting because Supersonic oh. usually has red eyes, right? And oh. that, like those are blue eyes right there. It went blue. Oh. So that's I didn't notice that. Interesting, yeah. Ultrasonic. Oh my God! Another controversy. So it's like green eyes, black eyes, and now blue <laughs> eyes. Oh my God! Another controversy. But, could you go back to before Sonic does the ah thing? Ah, 
does the power power, the power thing. Yeah, yeah. those yeah. are red eyes. They're there. red. Yeah, okay, so it's yeah. definitely it's definitely supersonic taps Something. into another form there. Definitely supersonic taps into another form. Should you call that hypersonic? Something he doesn't hyperbolic. flash in rainbow, so I'm not <laughs> sure if you could say it that it is, but it's definitely a different supersonic Stay cool in that though, case. The rainbow Hydrologe says megasonic, supersonic was never really on brand. Mm. And we have megasonic, or, or like a kid, I used to call him yellow sonic, <laughs> yeah, like yellow sonic, yeah, yeah. So, whatever it is, we'll find out on. Uh, September 28th, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a free update. It's Sonic Frontiers, September 28th. Interestingly enough, I'm on holiday. <laughs> uh, oh, which which means I can't play it because I won't be home. Oh, okay, never mind that. Could you not take I was going to gloat that I had a lot Sonic of time to play gear. it. Sonic 2 yeah, Game I was... Gear one night, Sonic Frontiers. I'm going to play next. Sonic 2 Game <laughs> Gear. <laughs> Uh, Matt, Matt's asking, and dream about aren't, his this. Eyes, yeah. aren't his eyes blue in the film when he goes super? I don't remember. So yeah, the, oh, what what film? In oh, the, in the, Sonic the Sonic film. 2 movie? Oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe. We're going into deep lore territory here. Maybe they could be bridging the film and the frontiers and... You know, a dimension in, is, in, in the movie. I'm, 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 I'm looking it up in the movie Sonic. Um, in Sonic Two, Supersonic has red eyes. Uh, Matt says, "Oh no, they're red." Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's on brand. Day. It's on brand. It's it's <laughs> it's canon. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have new story. New playable characters and new challenges. And I'm guessing the new playable characters are the the friends, right? It's Amy, Tails, um, Knuckles, and I don't know, Eggman, perhaps? Maybe not. Maybe just Tails, Amy, and Knuckles. Am I getting mad? Have I seen Shadow? Oh, my God. Did I, did I not see this at all? Did I miss everything here? I missed the blue eyes, and did I miss... Shadow as well? Where's Shadow? Maybe not. I don't remember. Lime's like, there. what? I don't remember Shadow. <laughs> uh, I think I'm making that up. No, I think so. I think I, I, I only see those guys. I don't see these guys here. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, you're right. Frame by frame. Frame by frame. No, I don't <laughs> what are you see it. Like Shadow just <laughs> blinking in the, like one frame and then. Look! Yeah. Look! Up there in the in the right up uh, upper yeah. corner, it's shadow, it's, or it's a uh, shadow. An Easter egg. No, when you know where to look. <laughs> yeah, but no, no shadow. I think maybe, shadow. but who knows? Maybe James knows something we don't. Maybe. Ha. Ah, Possible. Ah. <laughs> okay, so that's that's Sonic covered, uh, and I think that's probably what was like the biggest things for for most or all of us here. The Sonic stuff was like the big thing. Yeah. And we got this on opening night and like the the, the day. Of, Jeff Keighley show. Yeah. Uh, th that amazing show. Um, well, it wasn't really that bad. It wasn't bad. It was, it was bad. It was a little, yeah. It was a little bit boring, but uh, it depends on what kind of games you, you're into. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, man. We streamed I it. Was, dot, I was dot, watching. Dot. Yeah, we did stream it. We, we were very, we very streamed enthusiastic. It. <laughs> That's it, law. <laughs> yeah. You've got to, just in case. Show me for a piece. Just in case, yeah. We do, you don't want to get caught without covering the, that news. Okay, another thing that I, for one, am excited about is this. Um... Humankind is now available on consoles. I, I don't think you guys ever played this, right? Humankind? I this, no. no. No? Okay. This is a really nice, like, um, I don't know if you are familiar with, like, the, the the early 90s PC games, like Caesar and, like, even, like, Civ and SimCity. Like and the Settlers. The Settlers, yes. Age okay. of Empires. So, like, yep. those kind of, like, city planning games and stuff mm. um humankind is that sort of thing but you 
start from the very beginning of the story of humankind. You choose like a tribe or whatever, and then you move throughout the the ages of human history, and you have to interact with other empires or nations or whatever it is, and you keep evolving and science. You have to choose if you want to focus more on religion or science or like oh, warfare or, um, I don't know, agriculture, stuff like that, where you want to allocate your resources. And that will uh, eventually uh, determine how you progress through the game and if you become like the leader of the free world or not. Yeah, uh, it's really cool. Cool it's idea. It's really cool. Like, and, uh, you can reinvent the evolution of mankind, can't you? Basically? Yeah. Mm. And as you progress, you unlock, if you uh, you know achieve certain goals uh, within the game, you can unlock wonders, like world wonders, like, I don't know, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon or the Pyramids of Egypt or something. And it's it, like you can build those wonders in your territory. Uh, mm. And if you unlock them, other uh, nations can't build them. But if they unlock them first, if they like uh, evolve uh, faster than you, they will unlock those wonders and you can't build them yourself. So oh, it's no. really nice. So like instead of the Egyptians in the pyramids, you could have like you know, the Brits. Yeah, so the Vikings. The Vikings build them. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And, and you, you at, at certain points, so as I was saying, there, were, there are certain uh, objectives that you have to achieve, certain goals. And as you do that, uh, you get to a point where they say, say, okay, so you're ready to like evolve and you have to choose where you're going to go. So which kind of nation uh, would you like to be like? Uh, will it be like the, the Phoenicians or the Egyptians or like... And, each of them have certain traits, and depending on how you want to play your game, you choose what you want to be like, and that will change the clothes people wear in the game, like your, your uh, the population, uh, the buildings and stuff. So that's really really cool. I, I whenever I play this, I get too addicted, <laughs> and now that's on Xbox, and on Xbox Game Pass. I can actually play it through cloud gaming on my Steam Deck, for example, which is a problem because I can uh -oh. take it to bed with me, and then uh -huh. when I look at my clock, my watch, I'm like, "Oh no, I should have been <laughs> sleeping." But really, really, really recommend it. You, if you're one into of these this people that of can st stay awake in bed and do stuff, because I'm I'm so bad, mate. I I'll, I'll be watching something on my phone, like a YouTube video, and I fall asleep, my phone, I wake up with my phone like on me. <laughs> it's probably really not good for your health or anything. Like yeah. And then I look and it's like, my watch history has got like another like, six videos. Oh, that happens to me <laughs> as well sometimes. Yeah. But I usually don't, I, I don't do this, do that like. Uh, I <laughs> I'm like that in it, bed because I've got like a pop socket. I'm just watching it like that. Well, that oh, would be no, I, I sometimes I, I lay on my pillow and put the phone like next to me. So what happens is I end up falling asleep and I've had, my I've had history is like, like woken five up. or six more videos. I've woken up and I've had to like pull the AirPod off my back. <laughs> it's the stuck in my back because I've been lying yes, on AirPods. That happens to me a lot. I, 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 I kid you not. Like yeah, sometimes I've, I've had like the phone like this <laughs> and then, you know, just watch something, watch something in the phone. Just oh, in the really, face. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's really painful. Yeah. And then people on, on stream and at work are like, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's okay. <laughs> you have to wear like yeah. concealer or something. Well, that's okay, cool so that's... Play humankind in bed. That humankind in bed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just cause go to sleep. It's better. Um, so when did that actually release? Because Dr. Scott and it's saying it was shadow dropped on it. I felt like it'd been out yeah, for a so while. So this but... was announced on August 22nd. So like it's Gamescom adjacent. Right, Gamescom yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it came out that day. Yeah, yeah. So they just said, it's now available on consoles. I think they announced it 
or it was supposed to be available earlier this year, at the beginning of the year, because the 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 PC version was released. I don't know, maybe maybe a year ago, perhaps. I maybe was even say, more. I'm sure, it's been out for a while. Maybe even more, and they promised the the console version for, I think, early this year, early 2023, and it didn't happen. And people were like, "Where's the console version?" And they were silent for a very long time. And so they just shadow dropped it. Is that the first like, Sega related shadow drop since the Sega Saturn, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Something to think about. <laughs> yeah, that that yeah, that's it. So the console version was supposed to have come out earlier, but got delayed indefinitely until the sudden release. <clears throat> that was I saw I, I was always seeing. A lot, a lot of people commenting on that, and um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he had to go there, didn't he? Says Resident ST. Yeah, so humankind, go play it if you're into that sort of thing. And then we had some Persona Five and Persona Three stuff. So, have you guys played any Persona game? Yeah, Ever? yeah, I absolutely love the series. I've only played four and five, and that's enough for me to fall in love with it. Um, I haven't played three, but I really want to play it. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to that um, the version coming out. I can play that instead. Yeah. And it's going to be available on Game Pass. They announced it during Gamescom as well. Persona 3 mm. Reloaded. And so yeah. they, they shared a little bit more info announced it is going to uh, be available on uh, Game Pass day one, just like Persona 5 Tactica, which we'll share in a little bit. But yeah, I, I have no idea what Persona 3 is about in terms of story. I've played 4 and 5 as well. Um, 5 is such an amazing game. I, I amazing. was very close to completing it, but then Sonic Frontiers came out, I think, and then I dropped it because I was I was Same. in like a oh. very tough boss fight uh, and then I, I thought okay I'll, I'll come back later never picked it up again so and now I I'm, have that feeling that like I need to start over because I don't remember a lot of no. things and um, what's, what's with the tactica what's the difference between that and Royale for example? so this is this is just a, a, a reload so this is just a like the a, a remake sort of of the of of three, Tactica is a different game. It's a tactical RPG, uh, which I'll try to share here. Is it based on the Persona based 5? on Persona Five? Yes, but it's a different kind of game. Which is oh, it, it's it is this, it is this mm. like oh, different okay. kind of art style, that. like chibi characters. Chibi style, yeah. yeah. Um, Interesting. And yeah, and you have this. <laughs> it looks good. And you have like, yeah. and I can recognize the 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 persona powers and names and stuff and attacks. So it's probably very familiar for people who know Persona Five and Persona in general. Yeah. But you have this like Persona Five is the one that I played, like the base game. Okay. And I played uh, Royal. I, Royal, yeah. I, I also played the the dancing games three and five just because they were on the PSVR. I played them a little bit. Um, yeah, cool yeah. series. This is like uh, for people who are familiar with like XCOM, it's it's this this sort of game, um, like Mario and Rabbits. I haven't played them, mm. but I I know it's like they're like this, mm. the Mario and Rabbits games. Oh, so oh, is it's that kind of style? Okay. Yeah. So you like? I see. So now it's I get turn it. based, but you have like a certain uh, like squares or whatever you can or maybe like mm. a like a health mm. bar or a point yeah, I bar did not whatever like that until you move. mentioned it yeah is that kind of like valkyria chronicles then where you can like only go so far yeah but move. valkyria chronicles has i think more free range of movement and of course you have like that like power action point bar or whatever okay if maybe whatever like you Project move zone, then. you sorry like Project X Zone, remember that? The DS. That Wasn't had, like, that like a, you could have moved so many spaces in like maybe. a block format? Yeah, Project Cross Zone. Yeah, so was it was it that or was it was that like just a, a, 
a normal turn-based RPG. I don't remember, to be honest. It was like a, a maybe, one-on-one maybe fighting right. game kind of looking thing when you got to battle okay. sections. But the, the outside map, I'm sure you had like a limited amount of moves. Okay. Probably, probably. Yeah. Uh, Scott says he played uh, Persona 5 Tactica. Was quite a bit of fun. Didn't get to play enough to form a proper opinion, but seems enjoyable. Yeah, looks looks good. Looks like, although in a different style, looks like a Persona Five game. Yeah. Personally, really? out of the two, yeah. I'd probably play the, the Reloaded Persona Three. Mm -hmm. I had to pick. Okay, so that that's coming out November seventeenth, and also available day one on Game Pass, which is nice for me because I have Game Pass. Something to look forward to. Uh, yeah, and so that's Persona stuff out of the way. Final bit of news. And I want to know what, how you guys feel about this. This is not my kind of game. <laughs> but it's 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 something <laughs> that's happening, <laughs> which is uh, Hyenas. Hyenas is coming. Mm. And there are, for some reason... <laughs> Sonic right. character skins. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Metal Sonic as well. Metal so Sonic that's as well. <laughs> I do like the tie in nature of it. Because it, uh -huh. to me, it doesn't feel like a Sega game. But then because there is this stuff in there, it kind of adds mm. to the, the overall experience. I just feel like and it's going to be really funny if it does take off how I'm assuming that Sega hope that it takes off like a Fortnite or a, you know, a, mm -hmm. whatever that other game was. I can't remember even. Uh, something Battlegrounds or whatever. I almost had it yeah. in my head. Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Uh, like PUBG, that. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it takes off like those games, I think it's going to be really funny seeing people running around as Metal Sonic on these live streams, you know, on Twitch, yeah. when you've got people like these big Twitch streamers that play those type of games. With, without probably Sonic knowing <laughs> who Metal Sonic is. That's true as well, yeah. <laughs> are, are they but making, it, are they going to make like Sonic even more relevant again because of maybe. hyenas? Yeah, hyenas. <laughs> Everyone's going to be playing Sonic Superstars. Uh, Scott got a hyenas shirt and pin. Didn't get to play, but awesome. uh, and, and I didn't know this. The game had so much negative reception online. Did it? Wow. I was speaking to someone else that was at Gamescom, and he said that it was a little bit wor worrying that the hyenas required sixteen people apparently to play a game live at Gamescom, and they were struggling okay. for numbers. Oh. Like there wasn't really a queue, as there was for hmm. like other games. Um, okay. I'm not sure if you had that same experience, Doctor Scottnik. Yeah, I don't know. But he said he wanted to play it, but there wasn't enough players apparently. I don't know if he wanted to play it, but he didn't, at least. Yeah. But uh, and and so for people interested in this, the closed beta. Not sure how you can join, but it it's live now, so it it's it went live today a closed beta of the PC version of Hyenas. Whatever okay. it is, right? See, is Not really my cup of tea, know. but... I didn't even know it was live. Yeah, I saw this on Twitter earlier today. So, yeah. but I hope it does well, because it looks like they've invested you know, quite a lot of money into it. Yeah. And they've got high hopes for it. Hmm. Uh, apparently, okay. the, if you look at the trailers, the like-to-dislike ratio is... It's a yikes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's a, a very I mean, it's bad ratio. not my ratio. kind of game either. either. I, I, would, I would probably not pick, you, pick it up. Not because I think it's a bad game. It's just not my genre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And it's a shame because it's creative assembly. And they are very talented. Everything they do is amazing. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe they should I work on another well. alien game. Another alien isolation game, perhaps. Instead of this, but I don't know. <laughs> but I, I hopefully it, it does well. You know, these are the kind of kind of games that Sega. I'm glad that they make because they usually do fairly well with the audience, with the generic audience, not like the hardcore Sega fan audience. But it, and if they sell well, they make money, and that means maybe we can get other stuff that we like. 
That's so true. I'm when glad you, that you they make this. They, they do cover the bases, you say, like, like Football Manager, Total War, and to us, those don't feel like Sega properties. Those don't really mm. feel like Sega franchises, but they're very successful. So, you know, hopefully yeah. that Hyenas adds to that sort of list where it's like a sleeper hit that is Die Hard, Sonic, Jet Set Radio, you know, people that want yeah, those type I of games. Yeah, I do hope so. I do hope it, it does well. Also because, you know, it's it's a game that people worked on hard, I'm sure. So it, it's nice when things go the way people want to and, and, and you know, the hard work pays off. So it's nice. Mm. I'm a nice guy. I try to be at least. It's nice when things go well. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so overall, um, before we get into the last part of this show, uh, Lime, James, overall thoughts on Gamescom. So maybe, you know, overall thoughts on Sega's presence at Gamescom and overall everything. Overall, one out of ten. Overall, mm -hmm. Sega, eight out of ten. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Sega's, Sega made that one out of ten for the overall... <laughs> yeah, like the, yeah. the show That's floor like as me. well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was nothing like groundbreaking for me, but there were news that I absolutely loved. We got the release date of um, the superstars of the Final, Fr uh, Final Horizon, um, uh, the DLC for the Frontiers, which I had been waiting for. And it's not that far away. It's like only a month away. So it's heck yeah um and then i don't remember if i knew about the persona 3 um reloaded before or if that was announced then but it yeah, had been that's... announced before yes okay yeah, yeah. well yeah. that that's still definitely something i'm looking forward to so yeah like nothing n nothing huge but still you know Good news. Things I yeah. really wanted to know. Yeah. yeah, that little Sonic block right in the middle of the show was definitely the highlight. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, and the, the fact block? that they they had like Sega stuff in opening in the opening night live show was was big, right? Because it was overall just very Xbox centric. Kind of. Uh, I and, get what you mean now. Yeah. and even the the Persona stuff was a little bit Xbox centric. They were like they they all these videos were like uh, centered on the Xbox version. It's coming to Game Pass and Day One. It's so, yeah. but I, I think Gamescom overall was a little bit Xbox centric this year. With um, oh, Phil uh, Spencer as well. Yeah. yeah, and what's the game? Uh, the Bethesda Field? game. Yeah, Starfield. Yeah, which I I actually want to play. Not sure about that you looks, guys. That's out today, right? Is that today? I think. Um, next week? No, I think so. I don't know. I just I'm sure I said somewhere. Oh, maybe Twitter. early access. I think early access ah, is today. I think. Is that what it is? I think so. I did okay. see someone tweet something saying like to everyone. I don't have a I don't have a today. an Xbox Series console, so, uh, but I I can actually I think there's cloud play. So I can actually use that for with Game Pass, but um, but yeah, I want to play that because I, I'm I'm a Fallout fan. I really enjoyed okay. like Fallout Four, Fallout New Vegas are games that I really enjoyed. So probably sort of an Elder Scrolls fan. So maybe it's in between. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I I would overall give Sega a, an eight out of ten as well. Yeah, I think. Like f for the things that are for me specifically, maybe a little bit less. <laughs> uh, it's just like Sonic and maybe somebody Amigo was at the show floor, right? People could right. play as well. So that's right. that's for yeah. me as well. We're going to talk about that, uh, like to close the show. But the rest, you know, Persona a little bit for me as well. Not so much, but okay. Highness definitely not for me. Uh <laughs> But um, overall, they had like a strong presence in the, the show floor itself, the, the Sonic statue. That mm -hmm. in itself is like five points there and three for the games. I'm surprised there wasn't uh, any accuser actually. I'm it now. 
Oh, there was, there was, right? You could play, I, I forgot about that. I forgot about, you could play Gaiden, right? I think so. Was there in the opening night? No, no, I, that I don't think so. Uh, okay. But like you could play, you could play it on, could, on the show yeah. floor. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did have a Yakuza. Yeah, they, they, you like could have like the pin. They would give you the pin, I think, as well. If you... Which is another thing that Sega are doing that is nice this year. The, every like type of convention or event, they make a, a, a special pin for that occasion alone. And then they have the, have the other ones for, for games and stuff. But that's a really nice touch. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so, now that we've covered Gamescom, <laughs> all that's left is to talk about a new game that's out this week. <sighs> Which is somebody oh amigo. Oh my gosh! Yeah, somebody, somebody amigo. Somebody amigo. <laughs> and uh, this, by the way, is amazing gameplay footage recorded by myself right before the show. <laughs> right before the show. Um, so cool. So many booze, but okay. Um, this is Escape from the City. This is okay, probably going to be a, a very tricky game to stream. Right, because of the soundtrack, oh, the, the licensed songs. Songs. Yeah, right. I don't know, and right. I, I I wanted to share a video of of a certain thing that happened when I played the demo, but I, then I remembered, oh, this is a licensed song. So I I, I what I did, I, I muted the the video and I shared it on Twitter the other day because. Is this yeah. the demo that you're playing, or is this the full game? This is the full game. This is the the demo was just two songs, just like. Okay. To that's TikTok and the, the one of the Pitbull songs. Those were the two songs. But here we have everything. And you have Amigo Sonic and Sonic <laughs> dancing along, and that the Eggman cool. Maracas. <laughs> the Eggman Maracas cool. I do like how you can personalize stuff. And yeah, if you remember when it first they were first showing like artwork of um, Amigo, and everyone was a bit like. That's not my amigo. <laughs> I'm glad that like within probably about half an hour, you can get your original amigo looking yeah. guy back with the, the costumes. Definitely. Get rid of the imposter, but yeah. So that's the first <laughs> thing I did. I got his, his hat, his clothing, and his maracas back. <laughs> I, I actually just just um, customized it like this cause, because of the, the Escape from the City song. Sonic. I thought it would be cool to have like Sonic and Sonic. <laughs> Next it's to each other. Got, like theme stages like that. I don't know if it's like it was a legit Space Channel Five stage, but when I was playing the yeah. Space Channel Five, there was like a big alien thing in the background. And yep, yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah really. You cool. have Bakamitai from Yakuza, mm -hmm. which oh, is nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So very nice to have like how, nice two other. How many songs there is in total? Really, I was scrolling on the list and I was like, oh Christ, there's actually quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the the designated total is or whatever the book. I'm sure there must be at least 50. I'm getting distracted by my very poor gameplay. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, are they all unlocked from the beginning, from the very beginning, or do you actually unlock it more songs? Because you have different modes, right? Well, I went into the rhythm game mode. Yeah. And there was these, like I say, there must be about at least 40 songs probably then. Okay. But I did, I've also got the deluxe digital upgrade because I got the physical copy I was going to pick I haven't got it in here actually mm -hmm. but I got the, the the physical edition and then I upgraded to the digital I think it was maybe I think I had some whatever Nintendo's currency is like stars or something I think I had some of them so it, it cost me about seven pound actually for the digital upgrade but I think it is ten and you get sonic songs like open your heart um, yeah um what else is there the There's the, a Rhythm Thief theme, song here. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's part of the digital pack. Yeah, but uh, Scott says all the songs are unlocked from start. So yeah, yeah, mm. I thought that because yeah. I was going through them all trying to get S ranks on every single song. But really uh, cool I, I also have I also have the the DLC. Oh yeah. So I didn't really know what what what, what content what, what, was locked or added. not. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but so there's there's a rhythm game mode, which is like the the first one on the list, which you can just play the the songs, 
right? Then you have other modes like there's one where you're like a streamer, Streamigo. I saw there's something like that. I've not tried it yet. Streamigo. <laughs> yeah, Streamigo. So it's Amigo and Stream, Streamigo. You have to get more viewers, do you? Or what's the you, 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 Yeah, that's the goal. You have to get more viewers. Uh, if you do well in the songs, you have like to complete challenges. Uh, you get more followers, so more viewers, and then <laughs> it's like a, like a campaign. Like every song yeah, is yeah. A, a round. You have certain goals. Some uh, goals is like to score uh, one hundred fifty thousand points, for example, and complete the song, or you get an S rank and complete the song, for example. And so if you fail, you have. I don't think you lose followers. Can't remember, but at least you don't get all the followers that you could get so you can retry it you and like there are online online modes as well yeah no more i think it's like a okay. million or something that's the like the overall i was gonna goal. say and then you can turn on your subscriber button and then start <laughs> earning from from playing songs <laughs> mm. <laughs> you also Watch have multiplayer modes uh local and online so you can play with a friend like uh, locally, mm. okay. probably with another set of Joy-Con, um, and then you have online modes. There's a I tried actually tried uh, one of them last night. You can uh, join people like is it sixteen? I think it's sixteen. Uh, you have to wait for sixteen people to to join your your group. The game pairs you together. And then uh, the the better you get or do you do during a song, you are you get a like a, a ranking. And so every so often the people who are at the bottom will be kicked out of the game. Okay. So the first song maybe you have to finish in the first fifteen and then the f the first twelve until one of you will be the the winner. So like a battle royale system. Sort of like I was thinking in the like rhythm Tetris game? 99 or something. Like Tetris that. 99, yeah, exactly like Fall that. Guys. Exactly, very good. All of those battle royale games <laughs> and variations, but with a, a rhythm game. So, and then you have like, um, if you use the the ZR trigger, you can launch like a power up, an attack, to hinder the other players' games. Maybe make the songs very slow or very fast, or and they can do the same to you. Ooh, or maybe ah. um, remove one of those, one of the, um, the directions, right, where you usually shake them or accept. You can remove one of those, and like I think that's that lowers your score because if you like that, those commands don't count to your score. Mm. So you can do that. It's like a. An interesting way, an interesting take at a uh, uh, multiplayer for a, a rhythm game. Liked it. How are you finding the game overall, Casey, so far? Uh, so I'm, I'm probably not very good at it, but I'm getting S ranks left and right, still. There we go, a pro <laughs> Casey already. <laughs> but I'm not very good at it, I think, because I get a few boos, and I'm, I'm just shocked at how I get nah. S ranks with boos. But okay, they're just trolls. I, 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 I was expecting they're just trolls, well. hecklers. Like, if you're missing missing some notes, I was expecting to get like a ninety nine percent or ninety eight percent. But it exactly, does give Com you 100%, completion a hundred percent. Yeah, but I I don't know. I was going to ask you like, how are you finding the? Is it a gyro thing? What what what's going on with the controls? Because they are a tiny bit finicky. I was finding like. I, I was saying to you, I don't know if it's because you're shaking at the same time, but occasionally the, because you can actually, it's hard to see this in action, but you can see what you're pointing at, can't you? Like the, the note when you shake it flickers. Mm. So um, one of the rings, what Casey's kind of showing some footage here perhaps. Um, yeah. as, as you shake the maraca, mm -hmm. there you go. You can see like the, the ring increases in size. And yeah. I was finding like, I'm expecting to be shaking middle and it's flickering at the top or occasionally sometimes it'll ask you to do a pose and I'm pointing at the pose and the, the, the thing isn't even increasing at all. Yeah. It, it feels like it just loses its position completely 
occasion. I, I feel it in the yeah. the um, what do you call it? the rumble of the controllers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't feel it rumbling, and I'm okay. not sure if it's my controllers. I have I have drift Joy-Con drift, especially on the left one on the left Joy-Con, and that's where I feel sometimes the the movements don't register as the way that I I would like when them to. When you say when you say Joy-Con Drift, I was thinking that was the thumbstick. Is yeah, it, it is. It is. Yeah, I don't I know if so, it yeah. affects motion as well. I don't know if it affects because, you know, it registers motion in the, the analog stick even when you're not moving it. So does but it see, affect, does it interfere with the movement as well? See see your maracas on the, the far left and right there? Yeah. Those are apparently the positions. Exactly. It's, it's meant to be a one-to-one -one representation of where you're exactly. holding your things there. And if you, you can see how they're like flicking quite erratically a little bit. Uh-huh. Like yeah. maybe that's one-to-one, oh. -one, but then like it, were you Could really doing that fault? at the time? Like, were you uh, really... So and, and to be to be fair to the game as well, so I was sitting on my desk with okay. the Joy-Con in hand, and my switch is a little bit to the right, a little bit further there, with next to the TV. So could be also the fact that it doesn't really register that well with the distance. So I don't want to know, <laughs> blame yeah, the I'd game like know for my mistakes. What the causes? I would like to know what the causes. Cause but I've, even I've even when I'm in times. front of the TV, in front of the Switch with the dock, I feel sometimes, especially the, the left one for me. Sometimes I'm know. shaking okay, so the left one and the right sided notes are being increased maybe it's weird <laughs> is it, like it some sort it, of crossover as well how is it working like is is it just shaking or is it like you're you're supposed to like move the the, the joy cons like from left to right and then you like have off, like you have to the, the game teaches you to to hold the joy con in a certain position so you should hold them mm -hmm. like this upright yeah. With the yeah. thumbs on the okay, or you could do that. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. but if you don't have the maracas, you can just hold them and uh, use the thumbsticks to put on the. You put the thumbstick, the thumbs actually on the the L and oh, R yeah. buttons. Yeah. Okay, over the L and right buttons, like this. Yeah. Like that. And so this is the up notes are like this. You shake it mm -hmm. like this. This yeah. is really like weird. That. Okay, yeah, that's that. better. Okay, so you, that's you better. shake him like, like, yeah, like that, and then like, what else do you do? Do you do? Because in the, in the gameplay, I ones, see like a lot of directions like in that. different. Okay. For the middle, I actually middle don't do that. do that. I actually yeah. don't do that. I, I was going that, that, and then obviously like that for the down one. Okay. Mm. I I for the middle ones, I do this. Because I'm looking at the screen and the notes are like left and right, so I'm just like this. Are you doing that? You you do this. <laughs> this is really weird. You, you, you're supposed to from from the tutorial. It's supposed to be like okay. up, middle, okay. and then I'm going to snap my wrists if I go down. But you know what I mean, like, <laughs> like down. Yeah. Okay. So I. <laughs> <laughs> so I would have assumed they meant like that. So top okay. notes, middle notes, lower notes. And obviously yeah. when you're standing, it's a little bit more natural. Okay, yes. maybe maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's why I'm not doing it I'm not doing it correctly. Yes. So what were you yes. doing for the middle notes then? The what? Ah, for your middle notes. The middle you're notes I like that. I do like the I so I like this and this. <laughs> to the sides, to the sides. <laughs> that looks even worse. I should worse get my Joy-Con. This is really sus. Yeah. yeah. Cuz like one one <laughs> I've uh, tried to um uh I did uh, 100% uh, like uh, Zelda Skyward Sword in um in on Switch. Uh -huh. And there's one problem that I've had had with that and that is the motion yeah. sensing. Because uh, like it kept getting uh, desynced. Because on the original Wii, you had this like sensor bar, mm -hmm. so that it could keep so that it knew where your controllers were and where the screen was. So it would keep resyncing, but with the Switch, it doesn't have that. 
-hmm. And so I noticed several times that the um, uh, Joy-Cons no longer really knew what was forwards or up or like it kept like slowly getting desynced about what direction was what direction. So mm -hmm. it could be like I, I pointed for forward and it thought that I was not pointing there. And so now the whole screen was like thinking, oh, you want to go over there? It's like it doesn't really know yeah. like what direction is, is what anymore Do you because you don't happening? have that sensor bar. And so I figured maybe that could be something there as well. Like it's just like I, I don't know if it doesn't know what direction is what. I, I think the um, so I remember the Wii version of Samba the Amigo was not mm. this is much better, I think. Oh, I don't know if you much agree. Better the much better. Yeah, yeah. And even registers the movements much better than the Wii version. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Did they use like the pro sensor? I don't remember what the it was called. Because you like had the the Wii remote, motion. the Wii mode, and the pro plus. something motion plus. Motion Plus, yes. Maybe, yeah. I don't remember if they used I think, that. I think it was before the, uh, the okay. Motion Plus. Okay. Maybe I think, I think Skyward Plus Sword used it. the Motion Plus. Yeah. yeah. I feel like but I remember still, it was really, really bad when Somebody Mega first came out on the Wii. And then the yeah. Motion Plus maybe improved it. I can't remember. Maybe. But it's, maybe. It's, it's, it's definitely... It's more like probably the original on the Dreamcast. But I kind of... And I don't know how they could do it on the Switch. Um, obviously, you've got the, the gyro that's supposed to be in these. I don't know. Yes. You'd have, you've had expected the technology to improve over the Wii and even uh -huh. the Dreamcast. But I felt mm. like the Dreamcast was more accurate because of the, the height thing, but the, the, you know, how it, it worked with the lights, didn't it? Or something, some sort of a light. And the Dreamcast was right. wired, right? So you. That's true as well, yeah. That's probably something that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think. I think. But I think it it works decently. I I'm blaming myself more, and maybe my <laughs> Joy Con. To be honest, it could be the Joy Cons as well. Could be. I've had yeah. since the Switch. You can. I, I haven't tried it. I don't know if you try, tried it yet, James. But you can also use button inputs instead I of tried motion it. controls. Oh really? I mean, just like the Hatsune Miku it's games. Hard, it's hard to not want to use. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I'm not going to get True. the uh, That's fair. the That's pro fair. control out, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I do find if anyone is struggling, I did find that shaking. So say if there's a note just on the right side, I found that shaking the left one randomly anyway improved. So say if if it's you're getting right notes, I just felt like just do that anyway. Just get mental. <laughs> just get mental with all the notes, and you'll um, you'll get a, an S rank. Like me, what I'm see. learning from this is. You know, streaming this game is pure gold. Mm. <laughs> Just for the no, you can game, <laughs> make a fool out of yourself. It's like shaking. I've had to pull bands on mine, by the way, because I was yeah, I shaking them so vigorously. Yeah, I was shaking them so vigorously they were just coming out like that. <laughs> See that? Oh my god! Oh, yeah. was, yeah, weren't you supposed to like um, <laughs> use the um, what we call it, the 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 straps, even maybe. with the that's the is is what's this hole? Maybe this hole at the bottom could be for the strap. Oh, maybe I don't know. But I don't okay, know. they're they're quite loose to be fair. Especially oh, I thought I thought they were they were like tight. Hyderloch says I thought that was a feature. Yeah, I actually saw band. that, and I <laughs> thought you were you decided to not use that because I thought they were uh you you had to attach the strap. The Joy-Con strap to this as well. Could be. I mean, these, these uh, things, maybe not. I, I couldn't tell what these are. You see that there? Yeah. Like a, mm. Maybe you attach something to there and it makes it tighter. Decorative. <laughs> this is just a yeah. per perk of being a postman, this. Having a rubber band. <laughs> and... <laughs> But but I, I I would recommend somebody Amigo to people who have played the the original in the the Wii version, especially if you didn't like the Wii version, to play this. This is much better. You'll you'll get a kick out yeah. of this. Um, and actually, I was going to mention Casey. It's probably it's, it's sort of like, with friends. Yeah, it's like mini games as well, aren't they? If you get the rule that thing, there's like yes. a, a randomized yes. sort of mini game that pops up. So there's like one that's like a baseball game that's quite fun. Um, yeah. There's one where yeah, it's it says run fast and then it'll say something about Sonic I at the end of it. I think what I had here, what Sonic? I got here was 
uh, fever, fever dance fever dance right so there was this one like where you like posing things yeah you had to you have like giant hands that come at you and you have mm, to high, high five, five them by i think shaking the maracas at the right position i find it a yeah. little bit finicky as well yeah but, but when that uh, happens it kind of feels a bit like a warrior wear sort of a thing where it's like a you know quickly do this yeah you don't have much time to react as well Pretty cool. Uh, That's like a nice and there's addition. a variety of, of uh, you know, moves and poses and stuff that I, I yeah. really enjoy, to be honest. This like is po but, poses were obviously the dreamcast thing, but then there's like yeah. these ones that are like actually get you to, to move. Yeah. And the ones that you have to like, whoa, 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 you have to uh, move to the beat as well. And then, th then these, these things as well, where you have to yeah. drag really fast. Oh my you. God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I, I just noticed in that foot, f f footage. Yes. Like the big, like whatever truck. Yes. That, uh, yes. Follow, that that is it's dancing, dancing. Like in the background. It's dancing. That is dancing along. Yes. To, I love <laughs> that. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. Everyone, everyone, and everything is dancing. <laughs> <laughs> they added that. Oh, it's I love that. It's somebody amigo. So it's somebody amigo. Everything <laughs> is about dancing. <laughs> mm. It is really because, but you, this is what a twenty-three year gap between games, right? Or I suppose that the Wii, if you want to include the, the Wii's Wii. a bit sooner. Yeah, but not really. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the Wii was like twenty eleven. Mm -hmm. Could be to ten. So, this this is a big deal for it is. You know, classic Sega fan. It is. Uh, I'm hoping so. the, the the VR game comes on the, the PSVR. Yeah. Oh, and it's also available on uh, iOS on Apple Arcade. Why I have played that as well. Yes, is that any I good? have played that. I actually wanted to to record uh, some footage, but I forgot. So, but yeah, it's it's also available on on uh, iOS devices through Apple Arcade. The Quest is that one out now? The the Quest version. That one probably as well, the VR version. Uh, you have like this, if I can show it clearly on camera. Yeah, and I'll mention as well, there looks to be like a, a monthly DLC pack. Well. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, um, like a, there seems to be like a monthly DLC pack. I think when I went to purchase a pack, Mm -hmm. or, or no, these are, is there a graphic I think Sega have released where it shows like this is pack four, the Japan pack or something. Yeah. And he's like, oh, there's going to be 10 packs in total. Okay. And there's like a, mo a month underneath each pack, like August, September, October. Mm -hmm. So it seems like they're going to release a pack every month. Yeah. It's With more songs. Additional songs. songs. Yeah. 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 So the, there's the, the K-pop or J-pop uh, pack as well yeah. coming soon. Somebody Amigo apparently was released uh, in 2008. So that's like 15 years. Is that September. On the Wii, sorry. Somebody Wii. Sorry. Yeah, Wii. Yeah, yeah. The Wii yeah. version. So that's 15 years. That's a, a really huge gap as well. So this is huge to revive this franchise, which I. This is like a no brainer as well. Rhythm games are crazy popular. So mm. this, and, and taking advantage of uh, licensed songs songs that people know they're like just dance games every year every year there's a new one so why not just do uh, a somebody Samba, amigo yeah. one with a lot of songs that people know a lot of sega songs as well i think that's a, a good it's, idea it's a it's a good list of tracks it's obviously uh, popular songs yeah they're, they're trying to get an audience for those type of songs of course but yeah, then there's there's plenty of like you know the Macarena, <laughs> um, mm. the classic Somebody Mega kind of song. Ones that you had in in Somebody Mega, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like That's Vamos a Carnaval and yeah, um, and you have Thanks. Pitbull, Pitbull, Pitbull. No, but Pitbull, <laughs> Pitbull. Which you know, just for that you should just get this game. It's Pitbull. <laughs> it's Mister <laughs> Worldwide. So why wouldn't you get this game? <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's probably a very advantageous um, deal as well they, they, they made with the, the man so that said uh, we're, we've been going on for a, a long time now uh, so I, I hope P 
people listening in, watching, enjoyed our rants and <laughs> our conversations here. Uh, <laughs> yay, Pitbull, <laughs> says Resident SD. Um, <laughs> so before we go, just l let me remind people, follow us on Twitch, right? So we're, we're trying to do this every year, but every month, sorry, not every year. Uh, but next week, our next show will be here as well, live uh, in video and radio or audio form as well. Yeah. And we're going to talk about Sage, Sage 2023, with oh a couple God. of special guests. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about that, uh, you know, during the week. Stay tuned and, and follow us on social media as well. But we're going to do it live. Um, so follow, follow the Sega Lounge here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Sega Lounge. Really much appreciated that you guys came out and kept us company. Life KC is the best KC. Is there anything like like a, a good KC? I don't know. That's debatable. But of okay, course but thank there you. is. Thank you for the compliment. Don't you doubt that. Don't you ever <laughs> doubt that. I followed. I, 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 I thought I was uh, followed. But then like I went on Twitch and I was like, I don't see the Sega Lounge uh, streaming. No, no, you were like, you were following. You were following. Yeah, right. But yes. but then 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 I wasn't. They didn't say I'm following, so I had to follow again. I think I got unfollowed or something. Double follow because I That's had to amazing. press the follow button. Combo move. <laughs> again, I, I I don't I don't know what happened because I think that I followed very early, but probably because you were you were on the first time that we went live. So yeah, you probably so. Did. Yeah. Very weird. I think I got unfollowed or something. So check if you're followed. Make sure you are followed. Just keep clicking it. Anyway, yes. Yes. Keep getting your you can do that again now, stream. live. Sorry. All right. <laughs> you can do that. Check, check if you're followed because you want to be following. <laughs> <laughs> so, live, since you're on camera right now, how can people find you online? People can find me on uh, Twitch uh, mostly. Lime reversed there. Um, I am mostly active on uh, X uh, Twitter, uh, trying to find <laughs> alternatives. Yeah, I am calling it X Twitter. <laughs> it's yes. it's not clear when you just say X. There's so many people who just referred it to to X. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like. <laughs> Like, do you want me to close the window? Like, press the X button? Like, it's that, but it's, it's just it's so many X things that can't extreme. be X. I'm just like refusing. Sonic yeah, indeed. So I, I'm just re refusing to just uh, call, it, call it X. So the closest thing to be very clear uh, is like just to call it X Twitter because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. So, so X Twitter, yeah. Lime Reverse. Lime Reverse there as well. Yeah. And Elon do make sure to, to follow Lime Reverse on Twitch for amazing streams. I am actually, if I can plug this, sure. I am very, I am getting close now to 100%ing all home console Sonic games. I have nine games nice. left. Nice. Nine games left. So we are getting close. So please follow me on this journey. You should. Game you should. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James, what about you, buddy? How can people find you? Um, on Extreme Twitter, you can find me at at Skill Gym. Um, beyond that, you can find me on the Sega Lounge, probably. Um, or yeah, ShemmyDojo dot com is where I reside the most. That's um, pretty much how everyone knows me, right? I think Shemmy Dojo. Um, yeah, just hit up the website. Or Twitter, Shemu underscore Dojo, um, for all your Shemu related news, giveaways, whatever else we do, podcasts and stuff. Yep. Really cool. And forums. The lore videos, which I appreciate very Forms. much. Lore streams, yeah. Streams we do on the forums. Check out Suka Pass, the by the way. Suka Pass. Suka Pass as well. Shemu World. Yeah. Um, which is a little bit quiet at the moment, but yeah, that is a thing. And. I was just about to say we've got a, a stream coming up for the Tweetathon that's, or we're going to have to call it the Exathon, on the 4th <laughs> of you're September welcome. now. So, yeah, if you're pining for Shemu 4, get on Twitter on the 4th of every month, but importantly the next one, September. And, yeah, just do hashtag Let's Get Shemu 4. Yeah. See if we can get it. At, Excellent. Um, yes. Yes, at TG, obviously, Shenmue 4 at TGS 2023. Mm -hmm. 
Could Adam's be. Done that take a shot. Could be. Could be. Weirder things have happened. So you never know. So yeah, and and for for myself, you know, the Sega Lounge. Just yeah, thank you for Where listening. Thank you, you for watching. <laughs> people can find me here every week. <laughs> Follow Casey. <laughs> yes, we will. By the way, uh, because I will have a little bit more free time uh, two weeks from now, probably we'll probably do a, a couple more like live streams, evening time, uh, Western Europe time, probably if I have time. Um, so next week we'll have a live stream for the live episode dedicated to Sage. And then the week after we'll have maybe a couple more live streams, maybe play, playing Shenmue, Shenmue playing yeah. somebody Migo. I don't know, playing nice. Bomb Rush, Cyberfunk. Sure. I don't know, probably Shenmue because I, I really enjoyed my last one. The, the first part of Shenmue, mm -hmm. which I've played so really many fun. times already, but maybe we should continue on Rio's journey on stream. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So thank you very much for watching, for listening. Hope you have a great week, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. It's really a pleasure. Thank Always you for pleasure. having me. Awesome. And um, you know, Bye. have a great week and a great weekend. And we'll see you all next time. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> The Sega Lounge, hosted by me, KC, and part of Radio Sega's network of live shows and podcasts. Theme song and incidental music by OSC. Find them at opusciencecollective.bandcamp.com. Got any suggestions? Drop me an email to podcast at thesegalounge.com. Find us at The Sega Lounge on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can find previous episodes of the show by going to thesegalounge.com and wherever fine podcasts are downloaded. A Mixed On Productions podcast.